Derek Webb, an on and off again member of Cademan's Call and a Christian music artist, made headlines last month for wearing a dress to the Christian Music Awards event, the Dove Awards. He invited a drag performer, Flamey Grant, to accompany him. Webb normally does not attend this show despite having received several nominations and wins over the years. However, this past ceremony was a special occasion for him. Namely, the opportunity to make a declaration of support for his friends, as explained in an X video. As a cis, straight, white man, I walk into a room like that, and any room, with an incredible amount of advantage and privilege. If I'm attending as an ally of friends and colleagues, I should do everything possible to surrender that privilege at the door. Webb had previously released an album called The Jesus Hypothesis that challenges traditional Christian beliefs, incorporating themes of inclusivity and acceptance. He drew parallels between wearing drag and the incarnation of Christ, alluding to the power of taking risks in a similar manner to Jesus. The album also has a song made in part with the help of Flamey Grant titled, Boys Will Be Girls. Tiffany Arbuckle, another artist known as the lead singer of the Christian rock group Plum, has expressed her support for Derek's music and sharing the stage with drag queen singer Flamey Grant. Arbuckle has previously expressed her support for the LGBTQ community on Instagram during Pride Month. While some fans praised her for her stance, others have expressed disappointment, citing a difference between loving everyone and supporting Pride Month. Arbuckle encourages understanding and engagement with the LGBTQ community and has stated that this is exactly what Jesus would have her do, as seen in her social media posts. Not all Christian artists, however, are supportive of Webb and his dress-wearing activism. Skillet frontman John Cooper has criticized what he sees as a weak and passive form of Christianity that allowed a drag queen to attend the Dove Awards. In an interview with churchleaders.com, Cooper argued that individuals like Grant and Webb are taking advantage of Christians who struggle to assert their beliefs boldly and compassionately on matters related to sexuality. He believed they were attempting to provoke the Christian music industry and its artists into affirming their views on the LGBTQ movement. Cooper suggested that Christians should respond with non-engagement and cited a biblical reference of 1 Corinthians 5, 9-13 to justify ignoring those who claim the name of Christ, yet persist in behaviors that go against biblical teachings. He also highlighted the lack of clarity on sexual morality within the Christian music industry and expressed the view that Christians have become increasingly reluctant to express biblical sexual ethics due to fear of backlash and marginalization. He also found it surprising that some Christians were accommodating Webb and Grant, emphasizing the urgent need for clarity and boldness within the Christian community on hot button issues. He believes that Christians need to address these matters with courage and conviction, rather than allowing such disruptions to take place. Additionally, a non-religious entity, the Recording Academy, the Grammys people, have removed Flamey Grant's song, Bible Belt Baby, from the best Christian song category and moved it to the pop category. Apparently, just having Bible in the title and mentioning biblical characters in your song does not actually make it one. 